Hey, what's going on guys? It's Coding Tips and welcome back to a brand new video. And actually this is gonna be my first tutorial on JavaScript. Um but I'm not gonna be teaching you JavaScript from the beginning. I'm gonna be showing you how to create um an amazing effect that I've seen all over the web. And what we're gonna create is um a couple of buttons that when you click each single one, um something's gonna happen. And what's gonna happen? Well, either the color of a, the background color of a div or an image is gonna change. So let's get right into that. So I have planned my things out already, and actually this is very simple. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a div, and I'm gonna give it an ID of <clears throat> um, color of blue div, blue div like this. I'm gonna close this off and okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna in the head I'm gonna create a style because I don't think it's necessary to create a new style sheet. And I'm just gonna do body margin zero just so you have zero margins on the left, on the side, and the top. And um, I'm gonna also create an ID of div blue. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a position I'm gonna give it a position absolute a top of 100 pixels background color of light blue yeah okay um hold on uh width of 150 pixels and a height of 150 pixels. What? Div blue with. Huh. I don't get this. I did it in the head. The style. Div blue. Oh, um. I wanted to do blue div. Sorry. Oh, okay, that's a little bit too small. Let's do like 200 and 200. Okay, 250. I want to make it big so you guys get to see it like this. And I'm just going to align it in the center. And now I'm just going to leave it like this. Alright, so now what we want to do is we have we want to have three buttons here. Now when I click every single one, the color of this changes. Let's say I have a, a button called change this to blue, uh, to green. And when I click it, this change is the color to green. So it's pretty simple and we're going to be using JavaScript. So first what we're going to do is we're going to write script. And we're just going to close the script off like this. So, um... First, I need to create my buttons. So, how do I create buttons? Well, there's a couple of ways, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, I'm gonna write button, and just like this. It's real simple. And um, now, what I'm gonna do is change, change the color to blue, which is a default one. Another one, another button that says change the color to Hello, button. A new button that says change. Oh, I forgot the here. Change the color. Change the. Well, change to color. Change the color to red. And one last one that says button. Change the color to green. Okay, so now when I refresh, I have all these four buttons. Uh, I guess you can hear my cat probably in the background. I'm sorry about that. I, there's nothing I can do. Um, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write um our JavaScript. So first, what we wanna do is we want to let uh, JavaScript or and our browser know which element we're going to be changing. So we do that by writing var uh, div equals document dot get element by id and I'm going to write a string and it's going to be the id of this div so it's going to be div blue blue div. Okay nice. 
Oh, let me just open my cap to the balcony. I'm so sorry about this. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to create uh, functions. So we're going to create a first function that's going to change the color to blue. So we're going to do that by function um, div blue div, no, just blue. And I'm going to write uh, div dot uh, set attribute and I'm, and I'm going to write ID of uh, blue div, which is this one. So now when I change it, nothing should happen. Oh, sorry. Okay, good. So now what we have to do is we have to know that when you click this button, this function is going to run. So how do we do that? Well, we go to the button and we just have to write a simple um, on click equals blue like this. Now when I refresh, it should stay the same. Now I'm gonna create a new function. Function uh, yellow like this. And I'm gonna give it a div dot set attribute of ID and um, a yellow div. So now we have to go to CSS and create a yellow div. So yellow div. Alright. So yellow div. I'm just gonna basically copy that, this whole thing. It's this simple. Now I'm just gonna change the background color to yellow. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this button and just do on click equals yellow like this. Simple. Now when I click it, it should change to yellow. Now when I click this, it should change to blue. See, it's really simple. It's a really cool effect. And this is just basic stuff like just changing the color to blue and red. You can do a whole lot of other stuff like um, actually doing like new text and you can do basically whatever you want with um, the document dot set element the set attribute and this is the power of JavaScript that you can actually change your sorry about this you can actually change your website and make it responsive which is really cool so now we're gonna do the same for the other colors which is we're gonna create a new function function um, what's the next color Red, and I'm gonna write div, and I'm writing div dot because div is set to document doc element by ID. Now I can do document doc get, uh, get element by ID blue div instead of div to every single one, but just for writing less text, I'm doing this div set attribute um, ID. And now, new ID, and I'm gonna call it red div. So now I have to come and to go to the CSS and do pound sign red div. Basically, just copy the whole thing and just change the color to red. Now, when I refresh, we get oh, yeah, I forgot the on click. So now, what we have to do is I'm really sorry, guys, you cannot. I can't tell how sorry I am for this, but you know, that's how they are. But anyway, let's just do simple onclick uh, event. Now we're gonna write just red. And I'm writing the red in the parentheses because that's how you know that we're gonna call a function. Since if, if you call a function with par parameters, you're gonna write it in the parameters in here, like let's say 10 and 10. But in this case, we're not using any parameters, so we don't really need them. Now, when I refresh, I can change the color to red. Now, we're going to do this for color green. Same way. So, function green. And you can call them whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Um, oops. Function green. And div dot 
set attribute I'm just gonna set this ID and a new ID of green dip. And I'm just gonna do on click equals green. Now when I go to CSS, I'm gonna do green div paste this in. Um, okay, good. So now look, when I change, I can change the color to yellow, I can change it to red, and I can change it to green, but I'll, I could also go back to blue. Now, this is a really cool effect. It doesn't even refresh your website, or um, your web page, which is the best thing actually because um, you can use jQuery to not refresh your website when something is happening, but we're not using jQuery, we're using something really cool because. Let's say I have a big website and you don't want it to load all over again. You're just gonna use JavaScript to just create this little effect, which is really cool. And this is the basic of basically almost 95% of every responsive website that is on the web because a lot of them use exactly this, but instead of buttons, they use like let's say on load a window dot on load which means that when the window loads it's gonna change the color to something or a lot of other cool effects but JavaScript is literally you know, one of my favorite languages because you can just there are so many things that you can do with, that you can do with JavaScript that you can do with CSS but also CSS HTML and JavaScript are basically almost nothing without each other so yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Well, I, I can't say that it was a short tutorial, but it was definitely an easy one. So, hope you guys enjoyed this very easy tutorial. Um, if you did, make sure to like that, to hit that like button. And, um, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And, um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And also, if you have any suggestions for a new video also make sure to leave it in the comment section below anyway guys this is coding tuts and i'll see you in the next one peace